because teeth whitening is considered cosmetic. There are no federal regulations to help consumers navigate their way through what has become a $3 billion a year industry. The North Carolina Dental Association urges caution with three of the latest trends. Alkaline mouthwash, which comes in mouthwashes and toothpaste, they claim to reduce bacteria in your mouth. Tea tree oil floss, also known as oil pulling, it claims to reduce inflammation and improve dental health. And cosmetic kits, they paint a thin layer of polymer over the surface of your teeth. Everyone wants a, a beautiful smile. Greensboro dentist Ann Beck DeShiel says you need a dental exam to make sure you don't have any problems in your mouth like gum disease. And these are things that could, could become worse if you use a, any type of whitening system on top of them. The Shields recommends a teeth cleaning and exam before getting your teeth whitened. She says the average cost of these two procedures, $250. Getting your teeth whitened professionally, typically a gel activated by an LED light, can cost several hundred dollars. Dr. DeShield says it's a time saver over doing it yourself. You can get a result immediately because our products are stronger. They're used in a controlled setting. Um, your, your gums are being properly taken care of. But Dr. DeShield says over-the-counter products work well when used properly. Only one cosmetic bleaching product is approved by the American Dental Association, Crest 3D White Strips. And by the way, don't rule out toothpaste as a good way to whiten your teeth. It's a Colgate Optic White toothpaste. Okay, that is that, yeah. So you can do a toothpaste and brighten your teeth? Yes, you can. I yes, was, you can. I always see those signs. I go, is that really true? Right. I mean, is it true? Right. It really does work. Remember, teeth whitening is not permanent. Dr. DeShield says that a professional treatment lasts roughly four to six weeks. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.